I don't know. There's certain certain guys too that are just genetic freaks. And and look, I've seen Kevin. I I I've, I've seen Kevin go from not trained to like three months later seeing him again when we used to go years ago in the you know 90s and 2000s when early 2000s when we used to go to train at his gym and stuff and i'd see him out in la all the time i remember there was one time where i saw him i can't remember what he had done but i think he might have made a movie or had surgery or something but he had lost a ton he, he was yeah, really he slim acting, yeah. yeah and then i saw him like three months later and i was like oh my <laughs> god and he had like cellophane skin yeah. and he was just crazy and like genetically and his waist was like this big you know and, and genetically if he can do that holy cow i mean can he, can he win the olympia in your mind you think you know it's, i and sometimes i look at the guys today and i think like jesus if you go back in time mm -hmm. to flex wheeler and kevin lavrone and delet and cormier and all those guys in that time frame I think a lot of those guys could have been Mr. Yeah. Olympia yeah. today. Yeah. You know, um, it's it's hard to say that they couldn't. Man, the physiques were unbelievable, and and I think the shape in some way was better. And that's not to knock anybody today, but um, you know, genetics are, are a, a crazy thing. And when you put, when you know, you're talking apples and oranges. So take Phil Heath, and he, and he's phenomenal. But it, you stick him up against until you see him side by side with sure. LeBron, or you see him side by side with Sean Ray, or you see him side by side with Flex Wheeler. It's hard to say. These are the 